death be far from you. Yoruba actors and Nigerians react as the Yoruba actress Kemi Afolabi reviews this. Many Nigerians woke up to the heartbreaking interview of the Yoruba actress Kemi Afolabi with Trude Gideo. It was revealed that she does not know how much longer she has to live. As one of her doctors told her she has only five years, out of which she has already spent one. Even though it's been since last year that Kemi has been open about her health challenge, she revealed that she has lupus, which is an incurable disease. A lot of people have been praying for and encouraging the actress. But then this recent interview where she revealed that one of her doctors told her that she had only five years to live has sparked massive reactions amongst Nigerians. Many of our colleagues and fans are expressing their shock and also sharing prayers on this actress. The Yobato, Miwa Dimola, commented, Happy 100th birthday in advance, Anota, with love from me and mine. Yabo Ojo also commented, Death be far away from you. You shall live long in his infinite mercy and grace. May his miraculous healing and miracle be upon you. And you're healed, my dear, have faith. Umiturela also commented, Ami Yarabi, you will live to declare the works of the Lord. Sheyedu, you will live long to proclaim the works of God. And also came Afalabi shared a short clip of herself where a prayer was being played. And she was praying along. And the prayer was, Ya Allah, please open the doors of everything good to us. Doors of peace and security, health and wellness, riches and sustainers blessings and mercies, doors of forgiveness, Yarama. And the uh, Yobak Chesbel Adibaya commented, Amen, we love you, Anota. Jami Aziz, we love you, sis. Trust God to perform his miracle. Long life in good health and riches is your portion, Inshallah. And the Nigerian social media user, Rim Omomomi, more than 911, commented, You're healed, man. Almighty Allah will heal you permanently. Bemisola Ayaba Kani, commented be emotional since i read it oh god take absolute control okay then be buku divine healing in jesus name mb artistry you will live to declare his glory mr bright energy commented it's the world's doctor's report heavenly doctor will grant you permanent healing omoti amina you shall live long ma. you are healed inshallah you shall eat the fruit of your labor ami 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 ya allow May there places, sis, I join millions on my dreams to pray for you. May you live long and it shall be well with you, man. Ajumi baby also commented, KAC alone, Kusobeu, death is not your portion. You shall live long in good health in Jesus' name. I love you, sis. Rashmi 12 also commented, what God cannot do does not exist. It is war. I became brunette. Who is that one who said a thing and it came to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? The one who cure the incurable is capable and has the capacity to make you whole. For what God cannot do does not exist. Hold on to the one who has a final say over your life. God will make you whole in Jesus' name. There are many more comments like this. The Nigerian sharing prayers and encouraging words on those who actress Kemi Afolabi Adeshipe. After this heartbreaking interview, please stay with us if you want to know more about this actress Kemi Afolabi. This is a short but interesting biography. Kemi is not a new face in the industry. She's a star actress and a movie producer. She revealed in an interview that she came from an average family. She's the first of three kids. She has two younger brothers. Her childhood was fun and she enjoyed every bit of it. Her education, she attended Tumwa Shinojan Primary School. For elementary education, this is at Ikeja, part of Lagos State. Thereafter, she attended A to Z secondary school for her post-elementary education and afterwards she studied law at the university of lagos it was in her final year at the university that members of the creative arts department invited her to take part in a theater production this was because their department was close to the faculty of law when she started out acting she really didn't think that she could act the first movie she took part in was a yubra production titled alaba since then, she has featured in several other movies. Along the line, she got married and relocated abroad. She was away from about 2008 to 2013. But since returning back to Nigeria, her career has been on the rise. One of the major challenges she faces as an actress is that her life is no longer private. 
people concoct different stories and because their audience like to feed on negative talk, this was what she revealed, they believe whatever they are told and don't bother to verify its authenticity. For her personality, she's one of the simplest persons that you could ever come across because there are no airs around her. What you see is what you get. Sometimes she doesn't even remember that she's an actress because her life is straightforward. People say that she's too frank and that just sums up her personality. These days, a lot of people live fake lives and nobody wants to call a spade a spade. She does not want to be part of that fake life. For her likes and dislikes, she doesn't like people who tell lies because she's a very honest person. She also harbors people who live fake lives because when you claim to be what you're not, it is not what it's in the end. She also likes candid people as well as those who have a good sense of humor. As I mentioned, Kemi took a break from the movie industry some years ago. This was the time she went to the UK to get married to Wiley Adeshipwe. And she was asked about marriage and mother within an interview a while ago. And Kemi said, luckily marriage hasn't in any way slowed down my acting career. If anything, it has enhanced it. I'm not saying that there are no ups and downs, but when you're married to your friend, things will certainly work out in your marriage and career. My husband has always provided the leadership and support structure that I needed to succeed. As a wife and mother, I try to create a work-life balance so that no part of my life suffers at the expense of the other. Or what fashion means to her. Fashion is all about comfort. She loves wristwatches and when she's wearing one, it really has to be top-notch. The same thing goes for her handbags and shoes. They must be of good quality. On how she relaxes, when she's not working, she likes to spend time with her family. You find her cooking for her kids and husband. She also likes to watch movies, including the ones she has acted in. She criticizes her own movies a lot, and in the process she learns one or two things that she could have done better. She's also open to criticism from other people. In life, she says one has to keep learning. You're never too old to acquire knowledge. She's open to corrections because she knows that's the only way that she can be better at what she does. She has featured the movies like Obriyali, Rike Mulero, Omo Pupa. She's also a multiple award winning actor. In 2016, she won the Best Yoruba Actress of the Year at the City Book Movie Awards. She was named the Most Prominent Actress at the 2016 Oudwa Image Awards. She also won the Yoruba Movie Producer of the Year Award at the City People Awards. So these are some of our words. We've come to the end of this episode where Nigerians react after the heartbreaking interview of the Yoruba actress came here for Labi Adeshipo as they're praying for her and also encouraging her in this trying time.